Hello boys and girls and welcome along to Cairn Hill Cabin in County Cavan in Ireland and my name is Margaret McKenna. Um, I hope the internet stays okay, it's a little bit shaky even though it says full bars but anyway we'll go ahead. Um, now today I was asked to do a ginger cat which is of course one of your suggestions as usual and what we're going to do is we're going to use two pieces of paper this time. So I have a piece of paper here, a smaller piece of paper here and then the larger one that I'm doing it on. And the reason is we're going to stick on the cat later on. We've done this before in some of the other drawings, because this is quite an easy one to cut out. If it's too hard, I don't do it this way, but this is quite easy. So we can work just on the background, it makes it much handier, and then you can put the other on afterwards. And also I want to ask you, if you have any suggestions, please, please, please give them to me. If I see them now, brilliant. I'll put them in my little tub, which I'll pick out a new one at the end of the class uh, for the next time. And if not, Put in a suggestion and I'll see it later on and it'll go into the into the tub for the next time. OK, so I'm always looking for suggestions. OK, so here we go. So what I'm going to do before I do any cat, I'm going to start with the background. Now, I used a plain blue on the background because I thought the blue was a nice contrast with the orange cat, the orangey kind of tabby color cat, sort of the ginger cat color. So I'm going to go into plain blue. Now, just one little thing I'm going to say is when you're holding your brush, remember, hold it nice, first of all, and light up high. Don't hold it really like a pencil. Hold it nice up high. OK, good stuff. And I'm going to show you how even just painted in two different ways of paint. If you paint four crossways and then you paint down, you make it look like there's a ground that the little cat is sitting on. And then there's a wall behind him, even if it's all in the one color. OK, so for the start with, I'm going to go across like this. So I'm going to go up maybe about this high. I'm just going to go in with blue. It doesn't matter what shade of blue you have. It was a light blue, a bit of another color coming in here. OK, so we're going to go with the blue across here like that. Look. Just like that, just straight across like that. OK, so it's not this is just this will be where he'll be sitting, basically, in other words. OK, so it'll, it'll look like the ground, even if you don't do anything else, only this going across. Way. So bring that across just like that. OK. Just like that there. Now we're going to get another more blue, same again, but we're going to go down. So we're going to go right down the whole way. And it just shows you that even if we're just using one color, um, just because the direction of the, because you're going two different ways with your brush, it makes it look different. And that's a very handy thing to know when you're doing painting, no matter what kind of painting you're doing, whether you're doing, um, whether you're an adult or a, a grown up or a child, this is really handy to know what direction you put your strokes. Look at all this already. And I'm actually just using the same color. I know it looks a little bit darker. That's only because I happened to hit into a slightly darker color on some of it. But in actual fact, you'll probably find some of it darker here too. Yeah. This is two mixed, two blues on my palette at the same time. One's a little bit darker and one's a bit lighter and they got a bit mixed up, but it doesn't matter. So you can see here, look how the difference that makes, you see? So it looks like you've got the ground and you've got the wall behind them, even if it's all the one color. Now I'm using poster paint, which are these kind of paints here. These ones here. I'm sorry, I kept going the wrong way. There we go. You can use acrylic paints. You could use crayons or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, hi, Kate. A water water scene. Actually, that's a really good idea. Actually, and a calf or a pug. Somebody else said a pug before, actually. And I don't know that. Actually, I must check that. It must, it must be in the bottom of the, the tub. It hasn't come out yet. Um, I was thinking of an underwater scene myself, actually. That's a funny one, actually. I was literally came across today. I was thinking, I wonder if nobody said an underwater scene. So there you go. And um, I'll put them in to the tub anyway before. Cap or pub. Okay, I'll put them in. Now, there we go. So, so just literally just a black or a, sorry, a blue background. You could do different colors, but I think a blue is a nice contrast with the, with the cat. Now, we're going to get a smaller brush, or you could use actually, you know what you could use? You could use a, um, if you had a crayon, red crayon might work really well. I don't think I have any red crayons here. I'll just check for a second in case I do have anything here. A red pencil. No, there's a pink pencil, but I don't think that'll be. I could try this. No, I think a, think a crayon would be better. I have one down at the bottom. I'm, like, I'm going to try a crayon, but you could use a crayon or, or a brush here, or a paint. I'm just going to try this and see how it works. Okay, this is me doing this for the first time now. So I'm going to try it. See, it dries very quick into the paper. So we're going to do a ball of a ball of twine here like this. Uh, I think actually, you know what? Oh no, it does. Where it's dry, it's fine. See, you can use that look like that. 
So you can wait till that's dry and use it and put a crayon, or you could do, I'm going to just use it. I'm just going to go for the paint now that I have it here. So you just wait till it dries. It's a bit wet there now, but you see if I use the red paint, it's strong enough to go on top of it, okay? But um, it would work quite well, the crayon, but just you'd have to leave it to dry a little bit. But we'll just go with this just for the, for the lesson, okay? Now, there we go. So that's, we got our ball of twine. And then I'm going to get a smaller brush. It's just a smaller one. Again, hold it quite light. Always hold your brush light. And we're just going to have a bit of fun. We're going to have one bit coming down like that. And we might feel little windy bits coming out of it like this. Because it's kind of like a loose ball of twine. And it's it's kind of all over the place. Because he's been this kitten has been playing with it, really. Going a bit mad. So now we're going to just let it just, we can do whatever way we want. This is just going to be a bit of fun. You can just wiggle it around and around. And that's, you can leave this. You can do this afterwards if you want. Um, if you don't get this finished before you do the cat, you can always do it later on because it's quite a bit of fun to do. You just play with this and just let it go anywhere at all. You can just imagine he's just, it's gone everywhere. And it's just kind of a little fun. It's just give it a nice pattern behind him actually. And you just have this little fun little bit with this. And this would work with a crayon actually. If this dries, you could use a crayon on this and it would work quite well. It might be easier as well than the brush, a little brush. Because sometimes it's hard to get a little brush, so it's fine. I just, I'm lucky I've got a nice little brush here. Sometimes they're not easy to get. And there we go. But a crayon would be perfect. Just let it dry a little bit. There we go. Like that. And we're going to let it go all the way. And you can just let it go in and out and all over the place you can let it go off the page let it go off the page like that and then it could come back over here you can imagine it's kind of gone off and gone around and you can just let it go anywhere and you can let it come back here it doesn't really matter where we go with it it's just a bit of fun and you can let it go oops and let it go up like that and you can even let it come back around like that see so it's kind of gone everywhere. This one dripped a bit. Look, get that one foot. And there we go. It'll be going down top of his little feet there otherwise. There we go. So we can patch these up afterwards. We can bring these, make these redder wherever we want. And we could put, let's say, do it in crayon. You could do it probably even, a marker would work quite well. If you felt it markers, it would work really well when it's dry. Just to wait till it's dry, that's all. And you could do, do a few little wiggles in on top of this. Because even though it's red, this red would be stronger than the red underneath. You can just wiggle it around like that. So there we go. And that's all you have to do for the background. So remember on the background what I said, for the bottom part, you're going your brush stroke crossways and it makes it look like it's ground. And then the background, like the wall, if you put it downways, it looks like a wall behind it, even though it's all the one color, just because you've done the, the, the brush in two different ways up and across. And it really makes such a difference. Okay, so now that's all that bit is. Now we're going to go and draw the little the, himself. So I have another piece of paper here, and I'm going to just stick that here. I think we probably, I might just pull that up here for a minute, and I'll just leave it out of the way for a minute. If I stay up there, like it, stay there. There we go. So I'm just going to draw it on another piece of paper because we can cut this out afterwards. Okay. So here we go. Now I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to use a dark black pencil. I'm going to use it very heavy so you can see it. But you can draw it lighter to start with, okay? And hold it nice and light up high. Remember we said this before? Hold it, don't hold it like you're drawing, uh, writing a writing in for school or anything, because you, it'll get too hard a line. And then you won't be it'll be hard to rub out. We can do the dark lines later on. Okay. So I'm going to do it dark so you can see it. So start off. I'll just put it up a little bit higher so it's kind of like where he is on the page. Now, so we're going to do kind of a circle, little, just a kind of, oh, a bit of a thing there. Okay, so this kind of a circle shape here like this. Make it fairly, make it in the middle of your page kind of that you're cutting out. Make it so that it makes it easier then if you get on the middle of the page. So it's kind of a little flatter, a little pointier on the bottom circle. So it's kind of a circle, but kind of not a circle, if you know what I mean. This is a little bit of a, a little bit more rounded there. Now, I'm going to put two very light lines, and I want you to do the very same, very light and as one goes, I'll go through this close up. So I'm going to do one a little above halfway up there. Like that. See the way that is at an angle like that? Can you see that? And another one going down the middle like that. And that'll make, now do you see that there? Look. Take your time. 
And the reason I'm going to do it like that is because it makes it, you can see where the eyes go. And we're going to do that really light because we're going to rub them out. Okay, now halfway down, you've got that line and we're going to make a little nose about here and the nose is going to just go like, like that. Okay, and a little line from the mouth and a little smiley face either side like that. Now, okay, and then we get two little lines coming up like that and like that off the nose. And then we're going to do his eyes. Now his eyes are kind of at an angle. They kind of come up like that. See the way they come up like that above that line? That's why that line is very handy because you can actually see then how high they come up. I'm just going to draw it here like this to make sure I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it at an angle and one like that. Okay. And then we're going to put his ears in. So there's one big ear like that. And we put a line down the middle of it. And a big ear like that. That'll come up to the top of the page, probably. And a line down the middle of that. And now we can rub out these lines here. And then rub at the end of this pencil. Just the ones here at the edge here. See, like that? That's why I want you to do these lines really light. Now, mine are probably a bit heavy because I was using a very dark pencil. So you won't have to do that quite as heavy. The paint will probably go over it anyway. But just makes it a little bit. Now, see? There's his face. Now. We're going to draw his body. So for the body, we're going to have a big kind of an egg shape for the body. So come down a little bit. Let's put a pound of pointy pencil like this. And we're going to put down a little bit, and we're going to do a big shape like like that. It's kind of like a big egg shape, really. So it's a big egg shape. Okay. And we're going to connect this here like that with his neck and like that. And we can rub out the line here, this line here now, the top, the top of the egg shape, the top of the big egg shape. As I say, you'll be doing it lighter than me, so it'll be easier for you to rub out. So you see, I rubbed that out. You still see a bit of mine, but that doesn't matter. Now, okay, we're going to now we're going to put in his leg. Now, if you look at his leg, it'll come down about just about under his nose. We'll just go down. See, look under his nose, it'll come down a straight line all the way down like there. And then we come over a little bit to the left. Okay, a bit of make him wide enough so that he's have enough. And we get a little bit skinnier at the bottom, okay? And sort of an egg shape at the bottom, like that, kind of an egg shape. And we put his three little, I'll put his two little, little lines up then for his paws, okay? And now we're going to come in with a kind of shape here for his back leg. He's sitting down, so he is. So it's kind of, again, like a kind of an, sort of an egg shape again, really. There's lots of egg shapes in this picture. We have banana shapes the other day. Just like that. Let me make his foot shape here. So his foot is kind of going to come across like that. It's a little bit of a line there. See, there's his belly and line there. And then we're going to have another line like that. You don't really see, just there like that. And then we're going to have his tail. His tail is going to come around like that. And you can just wiggle it around like that. Just make a nice little wiggly shape like that. And the last really bit then, it really is his, his other arm, the arm that's playing with the with the ball of, of, of wool. And that's going to come up, come up down here, down a little bit below his neck. And we're going to put a line like that. There, like that. And we put another line like that there. So it comes up. And around, and we just put little paw things in like that. And that's really all the drawing we have. We just have to take, we don't have to take any of the lines out really, because we'll be, except, yeah, this line, that's the only line to take out. Just that line there, just where we came through is his is tummy, his leg. There we go. Now we're going to color him in. So, how do we color him in? Well, I made a kind of an orangey shape, or an orangey color even. And what I did was, let me get a brush here. So I mixed a bit of yellow and red, which that makes it an orange. Yellow and red make orange. And I put a tiny bit, don't make too much red, because if you make too much red, it goes very, very orange. It goes really orange. I put a tiny little bit of brown in it. Just a little tiny bit of brown, because you put a little bit of brown in it, it just makes it go a little bit darker. Just a little bit of brown. So I'm just going to put a little brown there like that. Look, tiny bit of brown. 
mixing in the brown. So we get to the end off orangey shade. And then basically we color them in. So we start off with this body because it's kind of easy enough. And we kind of come down here and we cut, leave a space at the front of him. He's got a kind of white belly like that. And we come down all across this paw. We'll do all of this paw here and his little leg, his front leg, like that. And we come down his leg, the big long leg here. Here we go, like that. All the way down to his foot. I can see there. Make sure you can see it there. Get up a bit higher for you. See like that. And we're going to come across here is back. So it's literally it's orange and uh, sorry, orange is made of yellow and red and a little bit of brown in it because it's not too orangey color. And we leave a little space here. See that little space there? Just leave that little space there, like a little triangular shape. And just gives it a nice, it makes it look like his belly is going behind his, his leg. And we do all of this leg here. And we're going to do his foot. And we do his tail. And remember, you can always look back on these on, on, on the Facebook page. And I'll put them on YouTube as well. So if anybody you know who can, doesn't have Facebook, you can tell them to go onto YouTube in a while. Later on this evening, I'll have this one up. Now, we're going to the top the top of his ears. That, this this part of his ear and that part of his ear. I'm just going to get more mixed up here for myself. A bit more paint mixed up. And we're going to do a little bit across the top of his head. I don't mind if I go outside the line here because I'm going to be cutting it out. And I'll go down his nose. That was a little nose. All the way across here. And I go under his eye. Like that. Okay. So we're going to get under his eye. Oh, God, it's going a bit everywhere. It's jumped out of my hand. Which way have I got it? Okay, there we go. And a little bit under this eye. And across here, like that. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look like furry kind of a color feeling, okay? So I'm going to come down my brown, a bit more brown. Remember the orange we made? And we made it kind of a brownie orange. I'm going to add more brown to it this time. So I'll make a more brown into that orange, okay? More brown paint into the orange. And what we're going to do then is we're going to start putting little bits of shadow on them. So we'll put a little stripey bits because they've often got a little bit of stripes. So I'm going to put a little stripe down the middle of his head like that. But I'm going to see the way I'm doing it. See? See how I'm doing it like that? Look, dot, dot, dot. Another one. So it's kind of like a line, but we're kind of doing it in a in a little dot, dot, dot way rather than a big line. And it, it makes it look furry and a little bit down there like that. We put a little bit inside his ears as well like that. A little bit inside this ear as well, at the bottom of his ears. And we're going to put a nice bit under his neck as well. So we're going to put a nice bit under there like that. And another little bit in the ring, kind of like that. So we get that brownie. So it's more brown into the orange. Not really, really brown. It's a little bit, a little bit orange in it as well. And we put some down his legs. So when we're doing his legs, just do a little like that. Then another one, like maybe like that. See the way I'm doing the little strokes? Makes it look kind of furry. And then we put another one maybe down here. Another one down here. And we put a little bit on the bottom of his foot. And we can do the same over here. Another one down there like that. Another one across like that. And then we're going to do a few down his... Oh, a bit too much paint. A few little bits down his back. See the one? Just little flicky little bits. What I call the little flicky ones. Look. See like that. Okay. And we're going to put a little bit in here on top of it. Just over his legs. See the way over his legs. See the line we have going around that big egg shape. We put a little bit over that, see like that, okay? And we'll do a little bit underneath. This is important because this makes it look like it's kind of all shadowed where he's bent, his, his leg is all curled up into a, he's sitting on his leg. And we can put a little bit under on the bottom or top of his foot and even a little bit on the bottom of his foot like that, like that. And we put a little bit on his tail, little stripey bits on his tail like that. But again, that little flicky, flicky, flicky little one, okay? And that's and we could do it a few little flicky bits up here, maybe. Let's give that little furry look. Now I'm going to go back with a little bit of my orange, the orangey color I made, but just a little bit, not too much, the lighter one. 
and don't have too much on the brush can you take off some of the color so you know sometimes when you put color on a brush um, it gets very 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 strong so you just kind of flick it off the edge so I'll just show you so say I make an orange here like this okay so there's my red and there's my yellow I'm just going to put on the very edge of the of the thing here see like that and there's an orange and a yellow and then I'm going to take it off the brush like like that so there's very little on my brush hello Leila Lily, how, how are you um obviously you paint a picture of a butterfly and I would love to paint a picture of a hedgehog. Okay, well, there's loads of suggestions coming in today. So I'll put them all in the tub now when I finish this uh, lesson here. So, okay, so we're going to put, see little strokes. See how light I'm doing that? Look, so there's hardly anything on my brush. You can barely see it there, but you'll see it actually when you do it yourself. Okay, so little, little flicky bits. And you can put a few little flicky bits on his face as well. Look, just makes him look nice and furry. So it does. Just see like that okay now i'm going to give mix it pink for his nose so a little bit of how do you make pink white and red so a little bit of white paint red and a little bit of white and you get a pinky color and we'll stick that on his little nose in here in there like that and we're going to put a color on his eyes so i put blue eyes on him so we can make a nice like little bit of gold it'll go nicely with the background and we put it in here like this and like that I'll give it more effort. now all i have to do is i'm going to get my pencil my dark pencil you might have to let this dry a little bit but i'll just go ahead in and do it anyway and i think we did we've done this lots of times now in the other pictures and we're going to go around it heavier on the edge now we know we're going to cut this out but you can if if you can cut around that side, it'd be great. And um, for the underneath, to see the way now what I'm going to do. Look, little scraggy, look up and down. I call them scraggy bits like that. Look up, 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 and go around his little nose like that. And we can go right around his down his leg, and we can put little little scra scraggy bits down like that. Look. And it just makes it look kind of gives it an extra little furry feel to it. And you can do the same on his tummy. It doesn't mean you, you don't have to cut all of these out because you can kind of go in on it inside the big line if you want. And you can do the same in here. So you can go inside. So you don't have to cut inside. You don't have to go around every single one of them because that would drive you mad. So would, and then we can just do a lighter one, a heavier one around there like that. And then we can do some more here. We can do a little scraggy there if we want. And we can just go straight down there. And we do a little bit on his back as well. Just make it nice and furry looking. See? See like that? So I'm doing it inside the line. So you don't have to cut in and out each one because that would be really hard. Now, and we're going to go around his eyes. So we're going to have a nice dark around his eye like that. And the same on this eye like this. I say mine's a bit wet, so you might have to wait till yours is dry to do this. And then we're going to give it a little skinny line down the middle, like you know the way the cat's eyes have that like, like a line like that, and a line like that down the middle, like that. Okay. And that's really him sort of drawn, really. That's going to fix his eyes a little bit. And then the main next thing is to actually cut it out. So just get oh yes one little thing if you can do sorry one little thing because it's, see there's two gaps in here look that would be the, the ground coming through don't you don't have to try and cut that out so i just did is put a little bit of the blue in there that's in the background okay stick that in there and there because you really won't see that the fact that'll be cut uh, that'll be stuck onto the background so if you put the background color in there it'll be absolutely perfect so now you just cut this out and you go around here like that. It's quite an easy shape to cut out. It's not a hard shape, so that's why I'm doing it this way. I say if it's really hard, I don't do it that way. I just go around the shape on the page instead. But because it's easy, it's handy enough. It doesn't take long to do. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to cut that bit off. Makes it easier. I see it might be better to wait until this is totally dry because it's obviously I'll probably put my fingers into a wet bit and then I'll put a big lump something on it. 
There we go, like that. All around his little face. I'll just like that around on this back. Now, here we go, nearly done. And then, of course, the last thing to do is to get your glue and you stick your glue on. Well, hold on, I've got a bit of glue on the back. I've got another thing on this, so it's all colored piece of paper on the back of this. So I'm going to get the glue on the back. Make sure you go into the corners. Make sure you go into the, the ears and the tail, you know, the paw, just mainly the corner of it, so they actually all stick, so there's no little bits sticking out that's a harder to damage. Now, I'm going to stick him on the page like that. And there he is. And you can put him wherever you want. You can stick him down a bit further. I might bring him down a little bit further, actually, so that he goes on the ground. And just let that dry. And there we go. And there he is. There's our little ginger kitten again. So just like this is his little friend. There's two of them there up to mischief. Um, blurred a bit there now, but just be careful. If you do that, just go back with a bit of paint and you can come back with your red. I say I did that when it was a bit wet. It's probably better to wait till it's really dry to do your, to go over and, and then you can get a better, it doesn't run as much into each other. So, okay. So what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to go and get the, the, the name, the, the, the ones that you've given me suggestions for. I'm going to write them right out right now. Hold on one minute. I've got a few bits of paper that I cut off. So I'm going to use them. So we have uh, underwater. Let's see. Underwater is the first one. And we have the half of the pug. And the, the butterfly. And the hedgehog hedgehog okay so i'm going to put them all into the hat now okay and we're going to pick out one for the next time i've got a few more there already so i'll just give them a good um squeeze enough turn them I'll get them all let's say all in one now so there they are all in the paint so i'm going to close my eyes and i'm going to put my hand in and we'll see what we'll do next time okay so here we go let me think what do you get that's this it's the underwater scene great stuff and that gives us lots of ideas so we can put in got sharks and fish and all kinds of jellyfish whales god knows what we could put in for that for seahorses coral coral i mean and lots of things so um yeah that's a great idea um brilliant so listen thanks very much and please share the video as much as you can and um, that's what it's there for and hopefully um we'll see you again oh yeah i'll probably do it on sunday this week and i'll probably get back into my normal routine then um, I just wasn't able to do the normal routine this week. But um, next week, so I'll do it Sunday. And I'll try and do it at noon. Yeah, noon, I'll put up a thing on Facebook anyway. Uh, noon on Sunday, and we'll do an underwater scene. And thank you so much for coming along. And if you uh, want to join the page, if any of you aren't on the page, it's a children's art uh, group page on Cairn Hill, and you can put your pictures up there. Um, that'd be brilliant. We'd love to see them. And thanks again. And see you again.